the deep state, right. the part of the government that never changes, no matter which party controls Congress and which party is in the White House. There are many, many aspects of the deep state. We're talking about the intelligence community deep state. People in the intelligence community that have access to so much information about everyone, they can manipulate the President of the United States. And if they don't like what he says, they can embarrass him. And if they want to control his thought patterns and, and decision making, they'll keep information away from him. Donald Trump has fallen victim to that, and he knows it, and he knows he has to stop it. And this is his way of stopping it, by directly engaging on the issue, by saying exactly what, by the way, is inferentially provable uh, uh, throughout, whether let, it be let, the reporting of the New York Times, the National Review, hardly, you know, uh, hardly a... Let, let me tell you, either. his suggestion for a congressional investigation of the intelligence community is the last thing his enemies in the intelligence community want. Because if the American public learns that they have access to everything we type and everything we say, they will be repulsed by the power that this deep state group has, that Congress gave them. They didn't create this on their own. Right. Congress enacted three pieces of legislation, which with perverse interpretations of this legislation before a secret court, lets them gather everything we say in real time. Is, the, is there any doubt in anyone's mind have we got a list of the number of instances in which the Obama administration has gone beyond the pale in surveilling, uh, in tapping phones, in reading computer data and messaging? We do not have that. They tapped so the phones of our start. colleague, Jimmy uh, Rosen, they, and eventually admitted that they were wrong when Rosen exposed them. And, the, and journalists of the Associated Press. And they people forget this. Dianne Feinstein, then the chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, uh, in 2014, they are still looking at the, the reality. The CIA went in and surveilled the computers of the Senate and, uh, Correct. Intelligence Correct. Committee. You, had, you yeah. had spies spying on each other. Well, yes, but what you had was the executive branch and the CIA spying on the Senate uh, of the United States which is beyond uh, any kind of acceptable way. Throw, so throw if anybody in. thinks that they'll, if you'll surveil uh, a journalist, if you will spy on U.S. senators, why would they hesitate to spy the Obama administration on a presidential candidate? Great argument. Throw in generals in the Pentagon and, justice, and justices in the Supreme Court. One of the FISA court warrants that I saw right. was, quote, for every customer of Verizon in the United States, that's 113 million right. people, including most of the federal government. The, meta, uh, the metadata that the, the NSA was collecting under precisely yeah. that uh, direction. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, but less so, I think, these days, because we are just seeing example after example. Going back to the judge's reference to the deep state, what we're looking at is a deep state that goes well beyond the intelligence community, but also now, for the first time, has in prospect the active leadership of the immediate predecessor to the Oval Office, and that is Barack Obama, who's bringing the, his leadership, right. uh, that of many of his administration, and the Organization for Action with 30, an estimated more than 30,000 activists. But the deep state has a very wide and shrewd adversary, mm -hmm. the man in the Oval Office. You better the believe it. The first time in, in modern, the modern era that the man in the Oval Office has been an adversary of the deep state and rather rather than a tool of it absolutely